not. Well, we don't know if she has croup or not. But they did give her a steroid, so that's good. She just has a really bad cough that's, you know, disrupts her naps and nighttime sleep. And it's been going on for like three or four days now. And so we thought we'd get her in today instead of waiting till this weekend and having to go to like urgent care or the emergency room in the middle of the night. So we're gonna just nip it in the bud right now. Leaving the doctor for Amelia and we're going to the chiropractor. We are taking a break for a bottle right now and we're gonna be headed out. We are in a debate about what to eat for lunch. For sellers that want to get the most out of the sale of their home. Um, I was reading Keeping Current Matters again. If you guys don't follow them, you should. Um, it's Keeping Current Matters crew on Facebook. It's really good, solid information that's straight, quick to the point. This article said to maximize your gain in your sale, you should do two things. Price your home at or slightly below market value. That will put you in a situation of hopefully multiple offers and buyers fighting over the home instead of being in a situation of negotiating with one buyer over the price. So the second tip um, is to hire a professional like me. If you sell your home by yourself for sale by owner, you, number one, won't sell for as much and you typically end up wasting your time and your money. Money talks. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. <laughs> so, make sure if you want to sell your home, contact me. 480-710-2490 is my cell phone number, call or text, I'm available. Can I just say how awesome it is to get front row parking in front of Chipotle at the mall. Thank you, Grandpa Goodale. Rest in peace, we miss you. Dude, I really dig Chipotle's music they got going on. It's really cool. Okay, now I get this really weird order from Chipotle. It's very plain, very simple, but it's really freaking good. But watch, I'm going to show you the reaction of the lady when I order it. They're going to kind of give me that look like, that's it? They're like, yeah, that's it. Can I get a uh, chicken burrito double wrapped? Yeah. Uh, just guacamole, please. See what I told you? She was thinking that that was a weird order. Ooh, how was Chipotle? So it was yummy. Oh god, there's been some nasty diapers today. Let me tell you, some nasty ones. Trash. Check. Ding. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm doing some rehab to reinforce the adjustment. I look hot right now, huh? Not as hot as this one. What's up? <laughs> what are yes. you doing? I am head weighting, body weighting, and balancing, and vibrating, and vibrating, and vibrating. That's bad, right? <laughs> Gotta remember to vibrate. No vibration for pregnant ladies. We're vibrating while pregnant. That's a vibration free zone. Everyone's attention, don't you? Are you going to see me? Are you going to pass me? Are you going to pass me? Are you going to pass me? 
Sí, que estoy en pan. Uh, what's it called? Bobby V's? No. Brooklyn V's. Brooklyn V's. A burger does sound good. Last night at like, I think actually like 3 o'clock this morning I woke up and I just had this huge craving for Wieners. Peiwei Kung Pao Chicken and Hot and Sour Soup. Can't hear you. <laughs> Every in the video is Ruby. This is our first baby. I brought Ruby home when we were first dating. And Wayne comes over one night and he's like, okay, where's the dog? I'm like, she's sleeping in the couch. And he's like, where? And I was like, right there. And he was like, oh my gosh, Ruby, you're so tiny. <laughs> I thought I was buying a teacup Yorkie. And now I have a 15 pound snuggle bug. And Amelia started eating real food. And Amelia thinks it's funny to throw food from her high chair and feed Ruby. Yeah, Amelia feeds Ruby and, I mean, Ruby doesn't feed Amelia, but it, Amelia helps herself to Ruby's dog food. <laughs> Do your kids have obsession with dog food? Like I take my eyes off of Amelia for like three seconds and then she's in Ruby's bowl just going <laughs> I have to like dig dog food out of her mouth and then her breast smells like dog food. <laughs> Ruby's like, so about that burger. Yo. I got an idea. Hold on. One minute. Oh! Make it rain! Burger, burger, burger. So what do you do when it's late? Actually, it's not really that late, but it's kind of past dinner time. An in and out run, son. Yeah! <laughs> There's Little Caesars in the car. I swear, I looked everywhere and it's not in here, but it smells like Little Caesars in the car. Off to In-N-Out to get some burgers. Alright, so we're here. Met In-N-Out. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing very well, thank you. What can I start for you? Uh, can I get a uh, triple meat plain? A cheeseburger, no onion. Right, it's gonna be 1588 at your first window, please. Triple meat always throws everybody for a loop. Not normal. It, usually their secret menu thing is like a three by three. I just get a three by bread. <laughs> so it kind of throws them for a loop. Doing? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. All right. Hey, Thanks, thank boss. You. Got the burger, son. We got the burgers. We got.